Hey friends, before we dive into setting up your Zekasyn development environment, let me show you where you can find all these articles. And you can go to the Chainsafe.io website, head into community and to visit blog. Here you can find all the articles we will be mentioned in this course. And we will start from setting up your Zekasyn development environment with Web2.js plugin. Okay, let's start from step one. This is clone the Zekasyn local setup repository. You can copy this line and use in our terminal here. Okay, let's copy. Yeah. Now we can go inside this folder and run docker compose app or do start.sh it's the same but um, for me it's better to docker compose because i will see what happened inside docker how it's running etc yeah at first time it can be longer because it will pull all images and then install everything so you should wait then if you need to restart your environment and clean everything up you just stop the docker and run clean.sh it will clean everything for you after this i suggest you to prepare your environment for testing uh, for this we need to clone the change save web3 plugin zekasync repository to another folder so let's copy this line in another terminal okay so we have this folder here go to this folder and then install all dependencies you can use npm or yarn for this okay everything installed let's run npm run test prepare so it's running what this script does it deploy a master contract and by master uh, allows you to be flexible with payments enable users to pay for gas with tokens uh, other than ethereum also deploy the approval token uh, also using with uh, paymaster and deploy example vrc20 token it deploys in two layers exactly in layer one and layer two and refill test accounts with ethereum um, so it will be easy to test and this is an article you see the example of uh, result of the script but as you see here this is our result it can be different um, accounts can be different uh, token addresses so we need this information for our future work and that's it you now have a fully operational Zekasyn development environment up and running. In our next video, we will explore how to connect the Zekasyn network using a provider so you can start interacting with the blockchain. Also, in article you can see uh, the helpful links and resources. So, see you in the next video.